Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 2.3 is all about exponential functions and their properties. Lots of students seem to struggle with exponential functions in math. So to those kids, I say, they really aren't that bad, just wait till we get to log functions. But anyway, we already know the skeleton equation to an exponential function is f of x equals ab to the power of x, where a is the initial value and b is the base. And take a look at the graph. It's a curve that keeps curving. There are three simple rules of an exponential function. First is that a can never equal zero. The second is that b must always be positive. And finally, b can never be one. Other than those three things, you can do really whatever you'd like with the function. And exponential growth happens when a is greater than zero and b is greater than one. It looks like this on a graph. You can see it growing, hence it being called a growth. And exponential decay happens when a is greater than zero and b is less than one but greater than zero. It looks like this on a graph and you can see it decreasing, hence it being called a decay. I don't want an exponential function graph to trick you though. Despite it looking like it's curving up, it is still going to positive infinity on the x-axis. This means all exponential functions will have a domain of all real numbers. Some other fun things. An exponential function is either always increasing or decreasing. This also means that exponential functions have no points of inflection. Exponential functions are a little weird though because they don't have an ironclad parent function. The parent function of an exponential function is said to be b to the x, where b is greater than 1 for a growth or between 0 and 1 for a decay. So that means that any value you plug into b that is greater than 1 or between 1 and 0 falls into the group of being a parent function for the exponential function. And for these parent functions, we can see some fun things. First is that no matter what, there will always be a point at 0, 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. The second thing we see is that there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, and this would mean the limit as x approaches negative infinity of any growth parent function would be 0. And of course, as x approaches positive infinity, all growth parent functions would approach positive infinity. The end behavior of any parent exponential decay functions would simply be swapped from the growths. But where the horizontal asymptotes are, and what the end behavior is, are all impacted by the transformation transformations of a function, which is an issue for next topic. On the screen now are AP style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.